And just about this time, here on Hot Wax, we like to do something very, very special for you guys. Because you guys are so special to us, we like to do something a little special for you right here. And that little thing is called... Frankly Facts. Okay, in 2015, a man named Torkel Christophers was arrested for kidnapping when his neighbors didn't recognize him with his new beard that he grew while taking time off. A beard can change you. Right? Yeah. Getting arrested for it? Getting mm. arrested. Mm. Studies have suggested that gifted people often have bad handwriting because their brains are often working faster than their hand. That makes sense. Chicken I, scratch. I always knew. That's why my That's handwriting why is terrible. The, you and me both, we're just, brother. We're just wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Psychopaths are immune to contagious yawning and are less likely to be startled. <sighs> what what like, a psychopath like pretending to yawn? <sighs> right? Like that's scary. That's a real psychopath. Um, you see in spa house in uh, southern town in Japan is now offering ramen noodle baths. The bath consists of ramen pork broth with noodles helping improve the patient's skin. I wonder if that really works. Everyone's just going to eat the noodles. Yeah, especially, <laughs> like, I like the chicken flavor one, yeah. but I never use all the powder that comes with it. Okay. You know, the chicken powder that comes with the ramen, I always just take a little bit of it. You don't want to save over some for the side for later, right? <laughs> sprinkle that, <laughs> sprinkle it on a little something else. <laughs> Colonel, <laughs> San- <laughs> Colonel Sanders would often make surprise visits to KFC restaurants. If he was dissatisfied with the food, he would throw it on the ground and curse at the employees. I, I went to 7-Eleven today, and mm-hmm. there was a guy that seemed like kind of like the owner of yeah. the 7-Eleven, and I was waiting to pay for my coffee, and the guy wasn't at the counter. Oh, no. The owner was like, where's the guy? You know, oh. he's trying to hear him yell. He, he kind of pulled a Colonel Sanders at 7-Eleven. Yeah, yeah. Colonel Ooh. moment. He didn't throw nothing, but he seemed angry. Yeah. <laughs> there exists a variation of soccer where three teams face off against each other at the same time. Wait, where's their goals? Is there three different goals? Three goals, that'd be wild. That would be insane. Like a triangle soccer field? That's the only way that you could do it. You can't do it with a square That rectangle. sounds like a game I would watch. I would watch triangle yeah. soccer. Yeah, hands up. Frank Hayes, an American jockey, suffered from a fatal heart attack in 1923 and died mid-race. His body remained on the horse and crossed the finish line in first place. Um, he had never won a race before that in his life. <laughs> Sticking to the theme of ending Frankly Facts on a dark note. There we go. Every week, Frank. Every week, man. Wow. That, that, that one's dark, yes, but it's kind of funny, though. He won. He won. It's he the won. first time he won in his life. <laughs> <laughs> he just happened to be dead. <laughs> Oh man, man, we That's... are we are messed up. No, laughing yeah, a little at bit, this a little guy. bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, but... congrats. You know, at least he did it. You know, <laughs> that's more than anyone else could say. Right? It's more than he ever did in his life. I never won a horse race. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, great facts as usual, my man. Those were great. That was fun. <laughs>